Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Fullcraft on the Lake Log Eye server. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am having a fantastic day. Today's actually my birthday at the time of recording, which is very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, I'm not going to tell you how old I am, because it's it's mildly depressing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. What else would I be doing on my birthday other than recording a video for you guys? But I'm going to work later, so... Okay, today could be better. It could be better, but I'm playing Minecraft, and that is the most important thing. Um, what are we doing today? Well, first of all, um, what I wanted to quickly try out is... Menno actually contacted me and told me that um, some recipes need to be in specific places in the crafting table, which I did not know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do that, and then that. Okay, that doesn't work, so let's swap those around. That works! Oh, Menno, you beautiful, beautiful man. Thank you so much. So that now means... That what we can do is come over here. Da -da 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 -da. A little bit of lag there. Uh, and come down into here. And what we should be able to do is change this around. And it's that one, that one, that one, and that one, I believe. There we go. So that's nice. That's really good. Um, copper. Copper, copper, copper. What did we do with the copper? Because I think I tried everything. Um, that's odd. Um, that's not what I wanted. Copper. That is... This is strange, to say the least. <laughs> uh, so if we go into there... No, I I still don't think. Oh no, that does say, that does say we can do that. Maybe this is, hmm, because we're now in one point three point two, I believe, of the mod pack. Um, so maybe a few things have been cleared up, which would be lovely. Uh, so let's see, do we have any? Right, this is odd. This is very, very odd. C-O. Aha, so we do have some essence there. That's nice. Does this now work? It does! Amazing. That's brilliant. That is excellent. Um, I'm not sure whether we entirely need it, because we've got 2.4k of copper there. Um, but that is nice to know. It's very nice to know. Um... Now, on with the rest of the episode. I think we might come back to this later. I'm not sure. It depends how much um, stuff I can actually fit into the video. Because I'm actually running a little bit low on time today. So as I say, I do have to go to work later. Um, but I've actually already recorded this episode. Um, I've actually already recorded this episode twice. Uh, the first time was like a, a normal, you know, progress update. Here's what I've done. This is what I'm going to do next. Oh, I've done it kind of thing. Um... And then I went to edit the footage, and I clicked stop record, as I do. And that would usually um, like close the recording down, and it opens up the editing software that I use and everything like that, and it all does it automatically, and it's all lovely. Um, however, what happened was I, I pressed stop record, and it went, yeah, we lost your recording. Yeah, you can't get that back. And I, I tried a lot of stuff, and I couldn't get it back. So that was great fun. Really enjoyed that. Didn't rage quit at all. Um, <laughs> and then I re-recorded it, um, just kind of explaining what had happened and what I'd done. And I wasn't very happy with it. So I deleted that as well. So that was all good fun. Um, but let's pop back to spawn base here, and I will show you what I actually did in the episode. Uh, so first of all, this... This thing here, this enormous edifice, um, is 
it's like a uh, a community charger for your um for your capacitor banks and stuff. It's a giant battery. So what I've done is I've taken down my scallium reactor from the base up there. Um, I've transferred most of the scallium over to the uh, volcano base, but I have left some in here. I think it's about two or three high, um, which is nice, and it will it will charge your capacitor up really nicely. Um, so don't have a power source, no problem. Simply put your capacitor on the conduit and let the battery charge it for free. Um, so this is a free to use resource. Anyone can come along and use it. If you don't have your own capacitor, then there are some in here. Some of them have already been taken. That is really, really good. Um, and it means that like people who don't get to play on here quite as much as I do, or some of the other guys do, um, then it it, it means that they've got a bit of a head start and they don't have to worry too much about um, about getting their own power source up and running. They can get their grid running from this. The, they're vibrant capacitor banks, so they store 25 million RF. Um, so they're going to be doing all right. They'll be doing all right. Um, the other thing that I did uh, was over in this direction somewhere. Yes, 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 yes. And it's actually for Mr. Paragraph 8. Um, and I, I didn't actually realise how close I'd built it to his place. So, Para, after you're done with this, I will quite happily come along and tear it down if it is um, an eyesore or something like that. Um, but this is this is a little a little fun house. A little fun house for Para. Um, because, I mean, Para is incredibly busy on his channel. I think he's got three or four series running at the moment, um, which is absolutely insane i love the way the sky does that oh um so yeah so he doesn't have as much time to play on here as some other people like we're all quite far advanced um and like he's doing really well like he's doing stuff that i don't understand um but i thought maybe maybe it would be nice to give him a little gift um but obviously the gift can't just be, you know, put in his base and, you know, here you are, Para. I'm a nice person. Um, I, I thought I'd make a little challenge for him. Um, and we've got this. So let's read this. It says, Dearest Para, as you know, you are one of my most favourite people on the server. Don't tell anyone else so. As such, I wanted to give you a gift that will hopefully make you a very make you very happy and give you a butt ton of resources to make your modded life a little easier. However, because I don't want the other guys getting jealous, I've had to make it a little tricky for you. I'm sure you'll be fine though because you are very brave, talented and handsome. Please turn over for the for a list of rules. Number one, please put all your items in the chest provided. This includes armor, food, pets, rings, weapons, etc. Number two, set your spawn in the bed provided. There is a slight danger of death. Number three, if you die you must return to the course and start again. Uh, sorry, return to the beginning. Oh, that's meant to say beginning. Oh, well. Beginning of the course and start again. Breaking blocks is not allowed. Only use the front entrance. No going to explore behind the scenes of this beautiful build. Number six, have fun. Good luck. Not that you'll need it. Danubes could probably do this without dying, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Sin. Excellent. So that is what Para is going to read first off. Um, he's going to deposit all of his items in there. He's going to set his spawn there. Um, and then he's going to come in here. Now, I'm going to fly through this because I know where all the traps are. Um, so there's a pressure plate down here. That is connected to that fan. In fact, sorry, it will. And then you get blown into the mob masher. Um, so if he's not careful, that's going to happen. Then he's going to come over here. And there's a little pit there. If he falls into that, if he does not make this jump, then he is dead. There is no way he can get out of this without breaking the rules. Um, so that that's a death right there. Um, then he's going to come round here, round here, round here. There's another fan here with another pressure plate there, which will blow him into that mob masher. Um, then he's going to come round here. There's a couple of pressure plates down here. In this are some fire charges. Um, so if he steps on these, then he's going to get fire charged, which is good fun for me. Um, and then round here, we've got another mob masher. That doesn't really have any significance. It's just if you brush up against it. Um, and then round here, another pressure plate to blow him into that mob masher, um, which is all very exciting. I still need to come back here and finish off um, these spikes. But yep, if if he doesn't do this parkour course, of which there is really only one direction to take, which is around this way. You can't jump that way um, or that way, I don't think. Um, 
but you can make all of the other jumps and then you come around here and then you walk along here and and the prize is in there and you may notice yep 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 so what we've got in there are these fake blocks and um <laughs> yep so there is a path through there um you can't make it in one go you have to jump um and there are some well there's quite a lot of fake blocks in there so as soon as you walk onto them you will fall through them underneath there currently is cursed earth now i'm over here now because i want to change that out because it's it's too explosive <laughs> as you might have just heard there um but we can pop out the back here and if we yeah yeah there's quite a lot of nasty horrible things down there isn't there now i know there is a way in down this way and down there so what i'm gonna have to do is quickly light this place up uh, uh, uh. And hopefully they won't spawn. I've got this nice shuriken over here that I can take care of you and take care of all of you. Right, that is good. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. You're quick, aren't you? Right, so now I can take all of this out, which is delightful. Um, then what I'm going to do do is I'm actually going to put a disturbed mob spawner down here. It's just going to be a zombie one. Um, as I say, I, I do want Para to actually complete this. Um, <laughs> so, th this is, I mean, this is a horrible bit, really. This is mean and nasty. Um, as you can see, like, there's actually, there's a, there's a real block, there's a real block. You know, there are real blocks in here, but it's going to be very difficult for him to actually complete this. Um, now, the issue is I do not have any disturbed mob spawners. However, Mr. Danoobs, who is currently online with 88 deaths, um, <laughs> 88 deaths um, does have some. And he said that I can go across and pick some of his up. I'm not going to show you what's in this chest. Okay. You will have to go and watch Para's video. There will be a link um, to the subreddit in the description. Um, his his channel will be in there if you don't already follow him. Um, I believe he's releasing the day after me. So I should be releasing this on a Sunday. Uh, I believe he's releasing this on a Monday. Um, so that is all fine and dandy and good and lovely. So you'll be able to watch this and then you'll be able to go and watch him try and complete it. Um, which should be good fun. Good fun. Um, but what I need to do now is I need to message to noobs, make sure I can record while I, while I go over there, because I would like you like to show you all his area, because it's it's looking amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. If you if I if I don't if I'm not allowed, then you know I'll just come back with a disturbed mob spawner and everything will be fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna gather up a few things, gonna do some more spikes for down there, and I will catch up with you guys in a second. Bye -zy bye. Okie dokie, everybody. We are over here at Danoobs' base. For those of you that haven't seen it, why not? Look at this place. This terrain is beautiful and insane and gorgeous, and I'm I'm quite jealous. That's, that's not the best bit, though, because if you come over here, you can see that he's hollowed out underneath the ice. There he is. He's just down there. Just down there, and there is a secret entrance. What's he doing? What are you doing, buddy? Breaking stuff, putting stuff back. Um, somewhere over here, I believe, somewhere, there is... <laughs> well, where's he put it? I think it's around here. Uh, uh, nope. Where are you? Where are you, secret entrance that I can't find? Oh, here he is. Oh, 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 he's put fake blocks in. Nice. Very nice. I like fake blocks, sir. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and we are allowed to go into his refined storage. I've already asked him. Um, and I'm allowed to take out a disturbed mob spawner. So, if, I mean, look at all of his stuff. 
Chris. Aha, here we go. So it does not tell you what is in it. That's exciting. <laughs> so let's just take that. It's either going to be a skeleton or a zombie, I reckon, um, unless he's been out raiding um, roguelike dungeons or stuff like that. Ooh, the noobs is getting into some chiseling bits. Nice. Very nice, sir. But yeah, this is his base. Behind all this stuff here, he's got his Woot factory, which is how he's getting so many um, things like nether stars and coal from withers, endermen, unbelievable amounts of stuff. What's that? A world breaker? A world breaker, Danubes? I do not think that you should be allowed that. 30k wither skulls. Absolutely insane. Insane. Um, but yeah, I have now got what I wanted. So let's pop back. <laughs> this looks so cool. So cool. Um, let's pop back to the 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 the, the fun house. The fun house, and we'll install this. We'll get it all up and running and lovely. Um, whilst we do that, uh, another quick little chat. I have done this in um, a vanilla episode recently. I I talked about Patreon and stuff like that, and about how I was considering setting one up due to the. Um, the non-monetization of people on YouTube with under 10k views. Um, and I, I will say it here for the people that don't watch the Vanilla series, I do not do this for the money. If I did, um, then I am in I am in the wrong game. <laughs> I do not make my, any money off YouTube. I am in the minus figures due to the amount that, um, you know, this costs to actually set up. Um, my equipment is of a good level, um, shall we say, and it's cost me a fair amount of money, which I don't mind because this is my hobby um, and I really enjoy it and I'm not in it for the money. However, um, I, I get a lot of joy in watching other YouTubers and knowing that my view contributes to them monetarily, however like small and insignificant that is. It it, it makes me feel good to know that I am helping to support them. Um, and and that now isn't an option for people that watch my videos. Um, and I, d I don't know whether people feel the same way that I do about it. Um, that's just me. But I like knowing that I'm supporting the person who is giving up usually their free time to do this kind of thing. Um and so I was considering setting one up with like quite a traditional one with a $1, $5, $10 tiers and everything like that. Um, and I put it out um, in a vanilla video saying, you know, this is what I want to do. Would anyone be interested um, or have any advice or anything? And I mean, a lot of people said, just do it because, you know, what have you got to lose? Um Oh, this is actually a blaze spawner. This is not what I wanted. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Uh, so we are going to have to go back to Danoobs' base. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, I said that that's completely the wrong base. That's very upsetting. Um, yeah, and so I, I've, I've had to think about it, and I want to kind of change it up quite a lot. Um, and my Escalium reactor, for some unknown reason, has stopped working, and I do not know why. Um, but it's very frustrating. Um, but yeah, so I've, I've changed my mind. I'm going to probably do a single tier of either $1 or $2. Um, it's not going to be much. I'm going to make the rewards for that good. Like, I think most of the time what you would get is access to a Discord and the Patreon feed. I want to up that. Um, I want to do things like I will follow you on Twitter um, so that I can find out, you know, who you are, uh, who the people are that follow me and watch my videos. I want I want to know what you're up to. I want to create um, a community, basically. And you create a community by getting to know other people, um, which I think is brilliant. And is it this one here? Yes, it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Hi, Danoobs, I'm back. It was the wrong spawner. Hello, hello. 
me again. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. Spawn. Ah, oh, this is this is all weird stuff. Weird stuff going on here. Um, let's pick that one out and see what that is. Zombie, perfect. That is exactly. Uh oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Lovely. Um, now we are done. Thank you very much to noobs. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let's fly away now. Um, what did I do with my warp stone there? Do, 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 do. Let's use this. Um, yeah. So I want to make that um, that tier really, really good. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Discord. We're gonna do Patreon feed, obviously. Um, we're going to have to follow on Twitter. Um, I'm going to make a monument of some description for anybody who decides to become a patron of mine. Um, and I'll be making that on the vanilla server, I reckon, because for me that's the server with most longevity. Um, and I don't think that server is ever going to be reset. Um, so uh, unless it gets corrupted, you are there forever kind of thing, um, which I think is awesome. Um and I think originally I said I wanted to do like um, browser based games with people um, like but this was for the ten dollar tier um, always on uh, I did bring a lever can I just put a lever on top of you please or do I need to go underneath? I've never used a disturbed spawner before. Give me some of that, please. Um, why are you not working? Redstone on. Is it because of the light level? Uh... uh always on? This is... I do not understand. Uh... Um... <laughs> this is weird. Why are you not working? Um... Oh, please don't tell me this is another bug. Because if it is, I'm going to be very upset. Um... Hmm... Let me finish talking about the patron, and then I will get this all fixed up and lovely, and everything will be wonderful. Um, but yeah, so that, I, I mean, yeah, browser-based games is what I was talking about. So things like Agario and things like that, what we'll do is every so often, we'll get together on Discord, we'll all go into voice chat, we'll play Agario or some something like that, a browser-based game that everybody can play. Um, and I'll record it, edit it into... Um, some episodes or an episode and put it up on the channel, which I think it's great. It gives gives people that don't do YouTube an opportunity to kind of be on YouTube. I think that's nice. Um, and you know, what I, 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 I don't like to use the word fan because I know I'm not that big or anything like that, but you know, what, what, what fan for want of a better word doesn't want to appear in somebody's videos. Well, why not? Um, there will also be some like raffle prizes going out to Patreons. So like, if you are a patron, then you get put into a raffle. It's a random name generation thing and you win a prize. Um, they are going to be things like things that I would have put in the higher tiers. Um, so it means that you, there's a chance that you will get the reward without having to spend the dollar dollar, um, which is good. Everybody likes that. Um, and yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it, I think. So that will be launching at some point fairly soon, I would imagine. Um, and you know, I, I hope people join in because I think it's going to be quite a fun thing to do. It's quite a fun thing. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, so yeah, and as soon as that launches, you know, you will be the first to know, obviously. Um, but yeah, that is that is basically all that about the Patreon, and I am now going to try and work out how to use this disturbed spawner. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Bye, -zy bye. Okay, everybody, we are back, and all of the spikes are now in. That is pretty much 
a para death right there, I reckon. Um, down here, I haven't actually managed to get the disturbed spawners going. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just these two. Oh, hello, buddy. Uh, I'm going to put those two um, dirt patches there. Uh, they are now going to be Cursed Earth. And I, th I think that's actually probably fairer because if Para does fall down and he gets blown up by a creeper, it should hopefully take out the um, the Cursed Earth. So, oh, blimey, that scared the living jeez out of me. <laughs> um, but yeah, hopefully um, like that will make this a little bit fairer. Um, because if there was multitudes of zombies down there, then, yeah, he's... Go away, you. Go away. Um, then he, he's obviously going to die pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I, th I think this is just a nicer way of doing it. Go away, Mr. Spider. Um, and, yeah, if it does blow up, then it blows up and it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter at all. Um because this is a very, very temporary structure, and it's just something that I wanted to do for funsies. And hopefully Para finds it fun, and hopefully it 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 he dies. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is all of this. Um, it's also going to be the end of the video. I'm all out of recording time. Um, sadly, I've got to... I probably should have left work about 10 minutes ago, but, <laughs> but I didn't. Um, yeah, so th th this is all done. Remember to go and check out Para's video. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video, I know it's a bit bit of a weird one, um, but if you have enjoyed it, then please feel free to leave a like. If you don't want to miss this series or any of the other series on the channel, then hit that subscribe button. And remember to tell your mother about all of the Para death we've potentially got going on over here. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye, easy, bye.